okay guys welcome to part two of the blender tutorial so today we're gonna go over uh the navigation port navigation the 3d view here and then we're gonna go over object everything the tools in object mode and then the tools in edit mode so to start off um to navigate around you hold the middle mouse button to rotate so you hold it and drag it around anywhere you want to rotate to then to pan you hold shift and then drag with the middle mouse button held and to zoom you hold control and then drag up and down then to like snap into different views like from left side right side top side bottom you hold alt and then drag in the direction while holding the middle mouse button so that's uh, right I think yep front left top uh, oh bottom so yeah so next we're gonna talk about all these tools so you have the select tool you can select what you know select this is what you are using right now then you could choose to use a box to select or a circle to select or a blah, 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 lasso to select I don't really use that one so it's like to select multiple things like the drag for example could make add another cube for example uh cube so this cubes on top of here and remember to g to grab and move it over and then a twice just deselect everything or alt a all right so now you have say you have the circle for example you click and then drag across each one to select both of them so that's what those are for the box and circle Next we have the 3D tool, um, 3D view tool, that's this little thing right here, that dude, can move him around, anywhere that, that is and you add something that's where it's going to go, so let's add another cube, it goes over there, another cube, it goes up there, etc, etc, and then, next one is the booth tool. These are pretty much the same as pressing G to grab, but you just have it like able to see what these are like Z, X, and Y. So you can actually grab each one of these or individually. And then rotate tool, same thing, but you can grab. So rotate on X, rotate on Y, rotate on Z. Right, let's delete that cube. Uh, I, why does that thing keep disappearing? I do not know. Okay. Now you have the scale tool. Select one. You can select, drag on the Y, drag on the X, drag on, I mean, you know, drag on the X and this is Z. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, then you could grab both at the same time with this, these little you know colors right here now let's delete that cube I pull those out just in case just for that so next tool is transform this is um a combination of all three of these so you could do a lot of stuff at the same time like you could rotate you could uh, scale with the squares and drag with the, with the edges yep delete that one and now you have this tool annotation this allows you to draw stuff like reference like you want to say oh something should be right here something should be right here but then if you move it changes but you can always go over here to tools and choose where you want it to draw on so right now it follows the tree the direction of the 3d color so wherever that is it in relative it does the same thing so for example I could draw on top of the box or on the box itself so this is actually on the box if you can see that and then like that and then if I do it like this it's actually see that curves around it to delete you can hold here delete erase I mean erase <laughs> the next tool is the ruler 
you could like measure whatever you want to measure in meters so for example let's go right out here then drag so that's 1.96 blah 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 <laughs> you know what I mean and it's not even that accurate but he, got, he has his uses I guess it's better in perspective mode so you can do it like that there you go alright so to delete those you click on one of the edges hit delete hit delete again alright that's it for object mode you know about scaling you know the shortcuts already S to scale same tools over here G to grab R to rotate alright let's delete that alright edit mode this is where you do all the creation stuff like making the shapes making uh, more boxes I guess <laughs> no, I'm kidding alright uh, so you did we have the same tools here do it pretty much the same thing but with individual faces or if you have everything selected with a it does the same as object mode so let's skip down to here this is the make line tool I personally prefer using the, um uh, oops I read the knife tool I'll talk about that later so with this tool you can like create new edges if you notice it, those are two different faces now it's played again now you have three faces here it's played again that's now five faces I don't really like that so let's see all of that Control Z to go back. Uh, with the line, with the the knife tool, though, you could do the same thing, but it doesn't apply until you press Enter. Enter. Then you have extrude. You do that with faces. Then you can drag to make. Whoops! What the hell is that? <laughs> drag to make new faces, and then you'll have these here. Could get crazy with it if you want. Then, 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 and then. Here, and um, there's a house. I'm just kidding. Uh, you could use E for a shortcut for that same function. So let's go back here. So like a face. Hit E. Does the same thing. So, oop, better that way. Let's back out. Z Z Z Z Z Z Z Z. All right. Now you have the inset in. Well, well. inset two. This allows you to make a face inside of a face, and then you have more faces around it. Then you could do your own thing with that. Then you could go back and use S screw again. Then the same button. The um, Inset you could use the shortcut with I extrude and insert again, extrude again. See, I'm doing something, not sure what that's for. Oh, that's a light pole. Look at that. Let's make it longer. So grab and Z to hold it on the Z axis. Go all the way up. Oop. Grab it on Z. And screw it again. And screw it again. Screw it again. See, that's a pole. Grab on X or Y. Y. Then X screwed here. Screwed. Then scale. There, we have a light pole. See how easy that was? Alright, let's go back. Period sign to go focus on the current selection. That's uh, right on the number pad right beside zero. Then you have bevel. Bevel you use with um, edge select mode, so you could like make each set each edge smooth. So drag in the tools panel over here you could say how much segments you want 
right now it's just at one so let's go back and change it to about six and drag again see that now oh, that's something would you want to do with that i don't know <laughs> drag again you could get crazy with this look at that yeah that's not supposed to happen <laughs> i'm joking all right okay yeah to do the same thing this allows you to make new edges so I just made two go back to select mode and now switch to face and you can see that it's made new faces because it made edges oh the knife tool my favorite all right so with the knife tool you can manually like make cuts similar to the line tool k is a shortcut for it so you can set start from an edge i mean a vertex go to another side it doesn't make the faces yet until you hit enter so you could hit enter now and then now that becomes those becomes face Blah. this becomes two faces back up what else um this poly build tool i'm not sure what it does it makes dots i guess i don't know <laughs> I haven't really got into using that before. And the loop, this tool is uh, you could make wheels with. So first you choose where you want your origin to be. It's a spin tool. It make it turns this into a oval object. Let's all right. Let me show. You, give you an example. So first, let's set that to its zero position. Let's go to select mode. This oops object mode move this to the center uh location zero those out then press shift s to bring up this menu you could say you want to move the crowser to the selected object that's the same 3d crowser then i want to move that back a bit so i'll go to the view a 3d crowser location on the Y bring it back a bit about there then let's go into edit mode and select here and hit the spin tool then you could grab one of these ends then pull it around and there you go could could um, work on it a bit you could change the uh, Go back to tools you could change the amount of seg seg steps i mean so I've let this be a lot smoother but you know that messed performance oh there it is but let's do it from the beginning all right and you can do that it's a lot smoother now Control z on that again let's go way up 24 top it off now that's actually a wheel could do something with that <laughs> moving on then you have the smooth though this doesn't have enough edges to be smoothed it out anyways so you won't really see that much of it oh god it's too much stuff on the screen come on come on come on mm. and you have edge slide you could use there's a shortcut for that too um Alright, let's make some X. Let's X screw this a bit so we can show an example. So if you add your edge selected, uh, you can grab, press edge slide, then drag it, move it around on the on its current uh, path, I guess wherever it is. This is you get um <clears throat> you can hit G twice to do the same thing. And let's do that show you so hit g twice doesn't show that it hit it twice but there it is so you select everything gg same thing all right then that should be it
I know I don't use these, so I'm not sure how to use these. Shrink, flatten. Guess that does something. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Next one, I'll probably cover. Um, let's see. Not sure what I'm gonna cover next. Could do materials, maybe. Oh no, modifiers. So we're gonna build something next. I'm not sure what yet. I wanna do something simple. And then on the way I'll show you different shortcuts for different stuff. Alright, this is the knife tool again. I mean the loop cut tool. Alright guys. Next to real modifiers. <laughs> 